we're going to find the value of x given that x squared minus x cubed is equal to 2. Our first step will be for us to move this 2 to the left hand side so that we have x squared minus x cubed and as 2 crosses to the left it becomes minus 2 and this is equal to 0. Now we have x squared minus x cubed negative 2 is same as negative 1 negative 1 this is equal to 0 well this can further be simplified into x squared minus 1 minus x cubed minus 1 and this is equal to 0 now we all know that 1 is same as 1 squared and 1 here is also the same as 1 cube. Now notice that negative is common so we can factor out negative from here. So we have x squared minus 1 squared. Now factor out negative. We have x cubed. Now negative times negative brings positive. 1 cube equal to 0. Now notice that we have a property of difference of two squares here and we also have a property of the sum of two cubes. For difference of two squares let's say a squared minus b squared this can be expressed as a plus b times a minus b. Why for the sum of two cubes? Sum of two cubes has properties of a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. Now let's write these in their properties. For the difference of two squares, this will be x plus 1 times x minus 1 minus for the sum of two cubes this can be x plus 1 times x squared minus 1 times x plus 1 squared and this is equal to 0 now let's simplify what we have inside of this parenthesis. So this is x plus 1 times x minus 1 minus x plus 1 times x squared minus 1 times x is x plus 1 squared is 1. And this is equal to 0. Now notice that x plus 1 is common so we have to factor out x plus 1 and then open a bracket now we see that from here x minus 1 is remaining so we have x minus 1 minus from here we see that this expression which is x squared minus x plus 1 will be remaining and this is equal to 0. Now simplify what we have inside of this bracket. We have x plus 1 times x minus 1. Now let's open this bracket with this negative. So we have negative x squared. Negative times negative is positive x. And then negative times positive is negative. 1 and this is equal to 0. Now simplifying further we have x plus 1 times this is negative x squared. Now this is x plus x that is 2x and then negative 1 negative 1 is negative 2 and this is equal to 0. Now we have two cases, 
we have x plus 1 to be equal to 0 or we have negative x squared plus 2x minus 2 to be equal to 0. Now let's pay attention to this our first case. Case 1, we see that x plus 1 is 0. So we can just move 1 to the right hand side so that we have x to be as 1 crosses to the right and becomes negative 1. Now for this case, this is case 2, we have to get rid of this negative, let's make it positive. And we do that by multiplying through by negative 1. So I'll take negative and multiply that by negative x squared plus 2x minus 2 equal to, well this negative is negative 1. So I'm using negative 1 to multiply both sides. Now negative times negative gives positive, so I have positive x squared. Negative times positive is negative 2x. And then negative times negative is positive 2. This is equal to negative 1 times 0 is 0. So we have a nice quadratic equation. Now from here, our uh, a is the coefficient of x squared, that is 1. Our uh, b is the coefficient of x, that is negative 2. And our uh, c is the constant, which is 2. Now we're looking for x using our quadratic formula, which is given by negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now let's substitute our values. So we have x to be negative b, b is negative 2, plus or minus the square root of b, b is negative 2, squared minus 4 times a times c, 4 times a, a is 1, times c, c is 2, all over 2 times a. Now this simplifies further into x equal to negative times negative is positive, so we are to have positive 2 here, plus or minus the square root of negative 2 squared, that is 4, minus 4 times 1 times 2, is 8 all over 2 times 1 is 2. Now this further simplifies into x equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 8 is negative 4 all over 2. Well this simplifies into x equal to 2 plus or minus now the square root of negative 4 is 2i. Since the negative inside of a square root suggests a complex number, all over 2. Now we can decide to separate the fraction. So we have x to be equal to 2 divided by 2 plus or minus 2i divided by 2. Now see that x will be 2 divided by 2 is 1 plus or minus 2 divided by 2 is 1 times i is i. Now x will be, we have 1 plus i and the source solution for x is 1 minus i. So we have one real solution which is our first solution as negative 1 and two complex solutions. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.